morning. My name is Dave McKenzie. I operate a guide service on several Bay Area lakes in addition to the California Delta. This morning we're on Lake Del Val. It's a 750 acre East Bay Reservoir um, located about 10 miles south of Livermore, California and within an hour of San Francisco. We're going to kind of give you the three hour tour so to speak and just see if we can touch on some post spawn fish. Most of the fish have spawned but there's still a few fish up shallow and we're going to give it, give it a go. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I noticed right off the bat was I already had to make an adjustment. Um, the water temperatures dropped about three degrees, four degrees since the last time I was here. There was lots of shallow fish prior to that. And the north winds have been blowing here in the Bay Area for about two weeks solid. So we're going to actually go in a reverse order and throw some plastics up shallow and um, maybe work some reaction baits a little later as the sun comes up. The south end of this reservoir is uh, normally normally has more color than the north end. It's a medium-sized lake by Bay Area standards, but small compared to in comparison to the uh, mother load. It fishes a lot like the mother load. The only addition would be the grass. We have a tremendous amount of grass here. Just see if there's anything up shallow. These fish get a lot of pressure. So I kind of like to just kind of move real slow through some of these shallow bays first thing in the morning. And the sink goes perfect for that. Okay, we're going to just target some of these shallow flats. We had a system that kind of came through yesterday. Some heavy wind, some cloud cover. And I like to uh, really get inside some of the cover on these post front conditions. We're just going to kind of start at the south end of the lake, work our way towards the dam, kind of give those of you that aren't familiar with the lake a little overview and those of you that are or do fish here show you some of the baits I like to throw this time of year and, and kind of a post spawn situation be kind of frustrating for some because we don't have the wide open shallow bite that we had three weeks ago the fish have started to suspend hang off the edges a little bit The lake's pretty centrally located and it's pretty popular. It has a marina with about 50, 50 rental boats, I, I assume. There's quite a few there. And it gets real busy on the weekends. But the weekdays out here can be pretty peaceful and quiet. There's a tremendous amount of wildlife up here as well. There's a couple of nesting pairs of bald eagles, you'll see bobcats, lots of turkey. Uh, array of other bird life. She was a kind. The kind of woman to make a man come alive. Make a man come alive. Make a man come alive. She was a Hopefully you catch a bastard here. She was 
should be a fish right up there in this little cut. Sounds like we're at a zoo. Yeah, I think what we're going to do now is we haven't gotten bit around these tight reeds. I think we'll make a little location change. Go a little further back into the southern part of the lake. This lake doesn't have a lot of major creek arms. Most of the most of the inlets are small. It's a narrow, long canyon lake, about five miles long. You don't have, um, in fact, the, the whole the entire lake is, I approach it as a creek arm. And I usually start in the shallow end, depending on the time of year, and um, work my way towards the dam. Uh, during the winter months, which is my favorite time to fish here, this area where we're fishing now is high and dry. There isn't any water over here, up here. They, draw, they have severe drawdowns here. Little seems to be wanting the Senko. Let's make a little change, make a little move, and we'll head back towards the other end of the lake a little bit. Okay, we kind of changed, went a little further deeper into uh, the creek arm of the lake. Not so much a change in location, but just a little change in color. We're going to fish some of these lay downs here. We got some huge sugar pines that have fallen due to the erosion. See if there's any fish up on this wood. Just kind of put the cycle around a little bit. And can't get the the nights, the last couple of days have been unusually cold. High 30s, low 40s. From one extreme to the next. A month, a month or so ago, we had record high temperatures. The lake temperature now is about 60 degrees. The 
we can catch fish up here in this wood. I was going to touch bases a little bit on my guide service. On a typical day, depending on where we're fishing, um, in the Bay Area, the lakes, most of the lakes don't open until 8 o'clock in the morning. So that's when our day would start. And I don't have a set time limit. We fish um, usually a full day. A full day is until the lake closes or um, the customer has, has uh, accomplished his goals. Um, on the Delta, a full day is from sun up to generally sundown, depending on the time of year. And I like to uh, have some goals set in mind for the day prior to ever taking off, whether it be we're fishing for stripers or going north on the delta for smallmouth or just working on technique. We just changed up a little bit and throw in a rattle trap somewhat. Got a little, little baby smallmouth. Ooh, that could be. Generally, these smallies, you hold them by the belly and they just calm right down for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Not exactly. Pretty little fish. This uh, rattle traps, my. Probably one of my favorite baits on the delta, on the lakes, especially when we get around a little water with color. This one's pretty well worn, as you can see. It's caught several, several fish. Um, we're just going to kind of hit a, a zone here that doesn't have a lot of cover. Shoots off into a little bit deeper water in between some of the tule clumps. We'll see if there's a, some fish out here willing to chase bait. There's a lot of bait back up in here right now. Fish several lakes in the South Bay. Um, again, most of them don't open until eight, so our day gets started a little later. But we usually fish till close. Um, the lakes range from numbers lakes to uh, targeting better quality trophy size fish. Actually, there's a uh, most of the lakes in the Bay Area. In fact, most all of them, their lake record is in the teens. It's, uh, it's, they're good fish. There's a lot of big fish. What I like to do is have some set goals before we take the water. Or if it's just a day to get away, then, then that's what we'll do too. It doesn't matter. We don't have to have any sort of major game plan. Just kind of go fishing and let the day kind of develop itself. But if you want to learn certain techniques, I'm comfortable fishing both shallow and deep water. And we have all of that here in the Bay Area. Most of our lakes have weeds, but we also have canyon reservoirs like the one we're on now that are real similar to the mother load. And you can take you can take these techniques anywhere. And that's kind of my goal, that when we get off the water for the day, that you've learned something and be able to apply it to your own water or to the water that we've been on, if that's where you fish. A typical day 
generally I don't fish. I, I, my feeling is that you pay for you pay good money to go out for the day. That you should be able to you should be able to uh, utilize the boat. Okay, we've been out here for about an hour now. We started down at the south end of the lake and didn't have a lot of success. We got one little one little baby smallmouth. So we're gonna kinda work our way towards the dam and hit some of these inlets. We have a nice warm sun this morning and flat flat conditions. So I think we'll just kinda move to a little bit clearer water. As you move up towards the dam into the lake, it, it uh, really starts to clear up little by little. Um, I'm going to target some of these little smaller inlets and see if any fish have started to migrate up into them. It's late, late April, approaching the first part of May. A lot of the fish have spawned, but there's still a lot of, there's a fish right there, a little, a little rip fish. I think it's another little little small mouth or something. Oh, it's a huge bluegill. Wow. That is a chunker, I might add. I'm not sure how to handle him. <laughs> I think we'll uh, just kind of give him a, a, a little palm here. Wow. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good bluegill. Grab some plastic real quick. I'm throwing a Lucky Craft Stacy in the ghost minnow pattern. This lake has a real good population of, or bad, however you want to look at it, of squaw fish. And that little bait right there really, really looks like the juvenile squaw fish that are in here. Anyway. We'll just kind of keep fishing around here. See if we can't. One thing about this lake, you never know what you're going to catch. It's got a real good population of stripers, um, large stripers. It's part of the California Water Project. Most of the most of those lakes have stripers, as the water comes from the California Delta. There's a fish. Maybe we got another big bomber bluegill. That looks like a little small mouth. Still looking for a good one. Little guy. Pretty little fish. It's one of the few lakes in the Bay Area that has a real strong population of smallmouth. Also, uh, unlike the Motherlode Lakes, we don't have spotted bass. Um, I like to fish for spotted bass as much as the next guy, but we really don't need them. These smaller lakes just are fine with the just large mouth and like I said a few of the lakes do have smallies and stripers in fact recent, most recently a uh, lake record here was caught at 18 18 plus big bass so the lake's become pretty popular since that that catch there's a fish it's a, Another little guy. She was a cat. A little large mouth this time. He was out on the out on the edge of a real long sloping point. Hanging off those weed beds.
뭔데? water's fairly clear right through here. We have about six or eight foot visibility. Dam in right now has about 12, 14, and clearing up all the time. The lake's really become a pretty solid bass lake. And it hasn't always been that way. Um, a lot of it in part due to uh, John Walton who owns a tackle store here in the East Bay and his efforts in the restoration it's really really paid off the last few years and you just can't thank him enough for that this is the vegetation that this lake's predominant with it doesn't I have doesn't have any hydrilla or any of the other types of aquatic vegetation, but it does have an abundance of this. I'm not sure what it's called. I know some guys call it milfoil. It's found throughout the Bay Area lakes, and you'll find it also at the Clear Lake to the north. Pulled into one of these little inlets. Just went to the back. And, oh, came off. And came up to the north end of the lake, and our breeze has turned into wind. Noticed a few birds up on the flats, diving in, looking for bait. Um, what we're going to fish here is a long flat. It's probably a quarter mile long. And it's it's got rows of Christmas trees in the low water levels. Uh, like I was saying before, John Walton, owner of Walton's Pond, has been a big part in getting these trees together and putting them out here. And so we're going to throw a rattle trap and try to uh, try to pick some bass off of here. See what happens. So far we haven't caught the fish that I'd like to have caught this morning, but you kind of just deal with the card you're dealt. And we got a close front, close spawn conditions. The main thing is you just keep covering water and eventually run into a school of fish, and then you can slow down and pick them apart. Although here, it would be pretty tough to fish them with anything other than some kind of hard bait with this wind blowing like it is. I touch again on my guide service. What I try to do is work hard to accomplish the goals that my customer wants to obtain. If it's catching numbers of fish, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that. If it's looking for a better fish or it's personal best, then I'm gonna work hard to see that it happens. The main thing is I want them to walk, go away satisfied with the day and happy. And if it takes all day to accomplish those goals, then that's what it takes. Sometimes you can, you can do it in the first 10 minutes. And other days are a little tougher, you just gotta work through the slow times. A little large mouth. Can't seem to get any size. Again, caught that one on the ghost minnow. She was a cow. She was the cow.